Hello and welcome to the Stamp Camp. Today is Tuesday's Tips and Techniques and the month of August I am showing different ways to tie the ribbon, um, different bows that you can create and I'm going to show you today how to do this one right here. I call this a crossover bow. Um, some call it a faux bow. It's a great bow. You'll see a lot of times on wedding invitations because this is actually stamped on vellum. So a lot of times the bride and groom's picture will be underneath and then the invitation part will be stamped or um, printed over the top and then it's tied like with this type ribbon here or bow. So I'm going to show you how to create that. We're going to start with a piece of our Whisper White cardstock and this is the new 100 um, pound. It's very thick so it's great for boxes but it also makes a nice sturdy card base. So we're going to go ahead and fold that. I have a piece of basic black and that is cut four and three quarters by three and a half and then I have this very cool print from the Go Wild Designer Series Paper Stack. Lots of cool prints in here. I like this like zebra print. And then I cut my vellum cardstock four and a half by three and a quarter. And this is the same size. So three and a quarter by four and a half. They're both cut the exact same size. And they're gonna go on there like that. So the first thing we're going to want to do is stamp our vellum and I'm just going to place them together because I want to make sure that I position my happy birthday down far enough. And then I'm going to use the stays on ink because I am stamping on vellum. So I'm going to ink up my happy birthday. And I'm going to stamp that kind of centered and towards the bottom, leaving enough room at the top for my ribbon. Make sure I get it good. Perfect. All right. Now the only thing that's going to, because vellum, you would see your adhesive, so you want to um, punch your holes for your ribbon. So your ribbon is actually going to be holding the vellum down. Now I'm just going to use my grid paper here and I'm going to measure where I want my holes to go so it's kind of centered and I just paper pierced a little hole and I'm going to come in with my handheld punch here and punch Line that up again. Come in here. Punch. So I have my two holes. I am going to come in with the black. This is the basic black satin stitch, I think is what it is. And I probably want about five inches, six inches. I'll do six. And when I cut my ribbon, I want to cut it to points. And then what you're going to do is you're going to bring one side down one hole and this side down the other. And pull them both up from the back. And this is where the crossover comes into play. I want to give it a little bit of a scrunch yet in the front so it's not completely tight. This is where the crossover, you're going to cross this one and come up the opposite hole to the front. Sometimes if it gets too raveled, you might need to re-trim re it. And then you're going to cross over the other side and come up the other hole with the other one that's in the back. So you're going to cross over. And then you just pull it. There we go. 
trim it up. It's easier to, much easier to do not on camera. There we go, perfect. Now you're going to mount this on the black. I love that black and white, reminds me of a bow tie. And then onto your card. It's so easy. It's a quick and easy card, but it's really cool looking. I like the looks of it. So there you have it. Your crossover bow, faux bow, whatever you want to call it. But there you go. Thanks for stopping by.